Hello guys, welcome back to another Line Road Studio tutorial. In the last two episodes, we already learned about how to display single and group permission request in Android version 6.0 and higher. But in those two videos, I didn't show you how to handle the user response on permission request. So for handle the user response on permission request, you need to override a method called on request permission result now this is the method on request permission result so this method has parameters like request code permissions and grand results so the permissions and grand results are arrays so you can identify you can handle the response of both the single and group permissions using this method so you can identify the permissions by using is request code. So now here I am going to hand here I am going to add the code segments for handle both single and group permissions. So here I add the needed code segments. So you can uh, identify each of the permissions response using is request code. So for analyzing the request code, here I use a switch case statement. So this is the first case if it is camera request so here we check the result if the grand result length greater than zero and grand result of zero is permission granted that means the camera permission is allowed so here we display a toss you have a camera permission and we start the result activity also we pass a message to the activity and finally we start the activity so this is in the case of camera if the permission is denied uh, we just display a toast the camera permission is denied now and you can turn off modules of the camera app okay and this is the second case if it is the request contact if the request is granted we again start the same activity with another message and if the request is denied we display a message this is the response for storage again the same thing we start the activity result activity with a, another message here if it is if it is denied we display another message and this is the response for group permission so here we create some variable result and here i create some for each loop so from for each loop we get the permission names and the permission result so here uh, two arrays are available this array contain the number of permissions and this array contain the number of result whether it is granted or denied so here in this for each loop i create a string that contain both permission names and the result so the string name is a result and finally here i use an alert dialog to display the group permission request result so that's it now we can check it so now i'm going to run the application so before going to run it i have to uninstall the previous version from this device so i uninstall that application now run it again so now here i'm going to ask for a single permission allow single permission so now the permission is allowed at now try a group permission uh, allow this permission access contact uh, deny this permission camera and this is the response so permission read contact is granted permission write to external storage is denied so this is how we handle the user response on android runtime permission request i hope you understand all these concepts Please subscribe this channel for getting more Android tutorial updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.